So this is my first video on this new camera. I am still playing with settings so I don't know how this is going to come out but hopefully the color swatches will be much better. And just to show you the difference, do you remember my tutorial for old Hollywood glam look? Uh, when you all thought that I had red lipstick on and the lipstick I actually had on was this one. So as you can see it is not red at all, it is bright fuchsia and that's why this camera is brilliant because it actually shows colours to be true to life. So today I wanted to um, swatch for you my Makeup Geek eyeshadows. I keep them in a Z palette and these are all the shadows that I have. I have a couple of blushes here and I have a couple of blushes here as well. So as you can see my palette is quite neutral, it's mostly warm, I have a few um, cooler shadows. Okay let's start. So the first shadow I think everybody should have is beautiful. I've, um, I've made a big dent in this one and this is Shimmer Shimmer. And Shimmer Shimmer it's a such a soft beautiful shimmery champagne colour beautifully um, pigmented. I like to use it in the corners to highlight the corners all over my mobile lid. So that's Shimmer Shimmer. The next colour is Beaches and Cream and this colour is fab for blending out eyeshadows in a crease. Um, it is a very light matte peach. These light ones might be quite difficult to see. Beaches and cream. Beaches, beaches. <laughs> the next one is a bit darker than um, beaches and cream. It's peach smoothie. So again, it is matte peach color, but tiny bit darker. So if you are really pale, you could use that one as your crease color or still for blending out. So, this is Peach Smoothie. The next colour, very very good crease colour and that's Purely Naked. When you look into the pan of Purely Naked, it looks a bit shimmery, but when you swatch it, it seems to be, it's almost like a matte one with tiny shimmer in it. That's the only way I can explain it. So there it is and it is again a bit darker than peach smoothie. So this is purely naked. Then in the same colour um, family is creme brulee and creme brulee is even darker than peach smoothie. Again great um, <laughs> great crease color. So you will see they are all in the same family. So this is. Then we have Glamorous. Glamorous, I will do it on the other hand. <laughs> Glamorous is a shimmery coppery bronze but not very um, dark and it is very shimmery. I must say I'm not that into it because I'm not so much into gold shadows and to me this is a bit too gold I think but it is a beautiful colour. So that's glamorous. The next colour it's very popular on YouTube, in fact they all are, it's the Cocoa Bear. Coco Bay is very warm, it's a very warm reddish brown, beautifully pigmented and it is matte. And 
these type of colors are very good for blue eyes um, because they are so warm. The next one is Frappe and Frappe is much lighter um, version of cocoa but I would say it is still warm, it is still that sort of reddish brown but much lighter. The next colour is brown sugar. Beautiful, this is quite dark brown, still on the warmish side with shimmer. Beautiful to use. I think I actually have that one today in in my outer V a bit. It is a beautiful colour. This one is almost dual chrome, slightly dual chrome. Um, you can see a bit of copper in it, depends how you move your hand. So this is brown sugar. Now very very dark brown, proper chocolate brown, uh, matte which is really good in the outer V as well is the Americano. It is matte and very pigmented, beautiful. And that's Americano. Okay, the next three I would say are a bit of a cooler, neutral brown side. And this one is called Barcelona Beach. I think this is similar to uh, Max um, Soft Brown. So it's a matte, cool brown. It's got a bit of taupiness to it. It's very nice that matte, it's very satiny. The next one is top notch and top notch and that's a lovely top color um, looks like a satin finish absolutely beautiful so for those of you who like those um, cooler colors these two I've just shown you are perfect Okay, and then this one I would say is quite neutral brown and that's mocha. I don't I don't feel like this is cool or, or warm. So that's a darker brown and that's matte. So that's mocha. Then I have two coolish ones, sort of purpley lilac -y colors. The first one is unexpected and unexpected I would call um, like a cool dirty lilac really. I love this one in a crease when I do a black smoky eye. This uh, warms up even though it's not a warm eyeshadow but I don't know just makes the black smoky eye pop. So that's unexpected. Then the next purpley, cool purple colour, which is mid, it's not very, that dark, it's not like dark, dark purple, mid purple I would say, is the purple rain. And again, this is just a cool purple. And let me swatch on this hand as well, this one, because it is so dark. The famous, the blackest eyeshadow in the world, <laughs> the most pigment, pigmented black eyeshadow in the world, uh, Corrupt. Okay, now uh, the, the other five I show you, they are more of a, um, um, I don't know, pinky gold, pinks, burgundy type of colors, pinky browns. So the first one, great increase, is cupcake. And cupcake is like a dirty neutral pink, I would say. Not very um, dark, but good in a crease, to warm up a crease.
The next one is proper pink brown, which is country girl. This, out of all my eyeshadows, is the hardest. I don't feel it. Still has a pigmentation and still is a pretty shadow, but it feels very grainy and hard. It doesn't feel as smooth as all the others. Um, so when it comes to um, consistency of it, that's my least favorite. But it's a pretty color, pinky brown. The next one is absolutely beautiful. It's a coppery pink and that's a roulette. Love this color, the pigmentation is out of this world. It almost looks like it should be in a foil eyeshadows category. There it is. It's smooth as anything. It's absolutely beautiful. I think it's similar to Max Copper in, but much more pigmented and much nicer. The next one is one of my favorites as well and that's Burlesque, beautiful burgundy color. That's burlesque. And then the last one from the regular eyeshadow collection is Bitten. And it is ready purple, ready burgundy, I don't know. You know I'm not very good at describing colors, but you probably see it used a lot here on YouTube. So that's Bitten. Okay, so these were my um, eyeshadows from the regular collection and now I have four foiled eyeshadows and four blushes. I've chosen the foil eyeshadows that are pretty bright because obviously I just want to use them on my mobile lid or as a highlighter. So the first one is Whimsical. I hope they will show up because they are so shiny that they might all look white but this one is sort of um, cool pink cool lilac -y pink almost. I don't know if this will show, but it is just gorgeous. And when you put it on, it almost looks silver, but with that lilac -y cool um, undertone. So, you know, if you like to use um, silver eyeshadow, for example, but you find it, find it too stark, this would be a good alternative. That was whimsical. Now, this one is in a spotlight. Very similar, but this one is more of a peach. Um, so again, when you put on your finger, probably looks very similar, but when you compare these two, you will be able to see that this one is a bit warmer, it's a bit more peachy. So that's in a spotlight. Then this one is champagne color. It is quite similar to in a spotlight, a bit lighter and not as peachy and that's starry eyed. This is more of a champagne, but to be honest, you probably just need one of these. You don't need both because they do look similar. So that's starry eyed. And my last foil eyeshadow is Magic Act and it is a very light um, yellowy gold. It's not orange, it's not too green. Um, it's not my favorite only because I don't really use gold eye, gold eye shadows. I do if they are very, very pale, uh, but I think that, I don't know, I haven't used that one yet on my lid, so I don't know, it is beautiful. It's just that I'm not that into gold eyeshadows. So that's magic act. Okay, let's do the um, blushes now. I've got two matte and two shimmery ones. My absolute favorite that I've been using every day is the Spellbound. And Spellbound is a neutral pink, not too dark. I think it would suit anybody. It is matte. They have very good pigmentation. Um, they last all day. I just really like them. They are very soft, go on really nicely. So that's Spellbound. The other matte one is Bliss. And Bliss is just your typical um, peach color. So it's probably better for paler skins. I mean, 
it will show up on me um, maybe not in a in a winter oh, I'm sorry in a summer but I don't know I haven't worn that one much yet so I hope you can see that one that's the bliss now this one romance it's a peachy pink with shimmer I've got a bit of black eyeshadow on it and this one's supposed to be um, similar to orgasm but better so I don't have nice orgasm so I, I don't know but it is a beautiful yes peachy pink with shimmer gorgeous so that romance and my last blush is honeymoon and honeymoon is very very beigey warmish color with shimmer at first i thought this is not gonna show up um it looks like this um you could use it as a highlighter or to mix it with another uh, blush or if you are very pale it will show no problem but also i've noticed that it is quite buildable and it is very very pretty so that's the last one the bottom one on my hand and that's the honeymoon so these were all my swatches of makeup geek products um, i absolutely love those eyeshadows and blushes i think the quality is exquisite the price point is on point um, i find that some of them are better in quality than mac and obviously at the fraction of the price so i would strongly strongly recommend them and she's got so many choices of colors and finishes that there is something for everyone so i shall be doing some looks uh, with those for you soon but for now i hope this was helpful thank you very much for watching and i see you soon bye